Amazing how other people wanted to be a part of the Roman team. Why? Power, influence, and you were protected because nobody messed with, a, you know, with any other branches of the Roman Empire. And then you have a Roman. He also became a historian, but he was a Roman historian. He was a general. He was really close to the Caesar because the Caesar had mentored him, took him in as a son. As he's writing, he talks about this guy that he ran into, and the guy's name was Jesus. And he said that this man was like no man that he, like he's ever met before. This is powerful. And remember, he was not a Christian. But as he talks about how he saw Jesus do miracles, he said that he saw this man, Jesus, raise people from the dead. You know, it was more than one. And then he comes to the part and he says this. He said, I thought about something. If this man raises people from the dead, because, you know, back then Rome was it. I'm telling you, Rome dominated countries, nations. Because, see, when they would go in and take over a country or whatever, then they would swallow that country up. And they became part of the Roman Empire. And whatever people that were really, you know, smart, uh, the remaining, uh, remainder of their armies, they would become a part of Rome. It is amazing how other people wanted to be a part of the Roman team. Why? Power, influence, and you were protected because nobody messed with, a, you know, with any other branches of the Roman Empire. Well, getting back to the general, remember, Caesar was like daddy. I mean, you know, the axes you have to your own father like nobody else has. And he writes this letter that exists today. And guess what? He says, the one thing I fear more than any army is that if this man would take that power, because if he can raise people from the dead, surely he can take life. And he might have the power to destroy the empire. 